Welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Tom from Morton's on the Move, and today we're looking at the Smartlight 2000 Motion Security Light for your RV by Starlights. So what is the Smartlight 2000? Well, it's right here installed on our RV, and it is a motion activated security light that replaces the standard round lights that you see on most RVs. Some people also refer to them as scare lights. The light can be used like your standard floodlights in standard floodlight mode or it can also be put into a motion sensitive mode so that when somebody walks by your RV the light will come on. It also has a daylight sensor built into the motion security mode so that when it's daylight out and it sees motion it will not light up. If the light senses motion at night it will light up for the entire time it's sensing motion and stay on for one minute after the motion has disappeared. The light is designed to work in most standard round lights, however it is a little bit bigger because it has the motion security portion on it and it is about 11 and a half inches wide by about nine and a half inches tall. So it's a little bit wider and it might not fit in some places. You can see that ours is actually a little bit crooked because the front portion of our RV didn't allow us to get it perfectly straight. The light also has a colored LED light that blinks to indicate when it's in motion sensing mode. During the day when it's daylight and it's not on, it blinks blue. At night when it's in motion security mode, it blinks green and it'll even turn red if your battery voltage in your RV starts getting too low, below 11.5 volts for more than 40 seconds. Operating the light is incredibly easy. If you just turn on the switch inside your RV to turn the light on, it will come on and stay on solid, just like a normal floodlight. If you want to put it in motion security mode, all you have to do is turn the light off and turn it back on right away and it will not come back on. It will take a few seconds and it will go into motion sensing mode. You'll know it's in motion sensing mode because the LED light will start to blink green. Installation of this light was really easy. All it took was to remove the screws from the old light and pop it off. Clean the surface up real good because you're going to need to seal this one in place and then reconnect this light on the wires where the old one was. The wiring was a little confusing because one of the wires, a yellow wire, isn't used and that really wasn't spelled out in the instructions. All you have to do is just tuck that wire back into the light somewhere. After you've got it wired, all you have to do is add some sealant around the light and place it back on the RV. In our case, the existing screw holes for the old light lined up perfectly and we were able to just screw it back in place. After it's screwed into the RV, seal it up around the light real well so that you're not going to get water behind the light and then start testing it at night. And you're going to have to adjust the sensitivity so that it comes on at the right distance when somebody walks in front of the RV that you would like. That's done by easily removing the little silicone cover over the LED blinking light portion and adjusting a small knob on the circuit board to the correct sensitivity. It's really nice to leave it in motion sensing mode so that when you approach your RV at night and you don't have any other lights on that it lights up and you can see what you're doing. It's also really awesome that it only comes on when it detects motion and only stays on for a minute thereafter. We feel like we can leave it on boondocking and add that little extra level of security and not drain our battery by leaving a light on bright all night long. It's really easy to use, uh, it's flicking the switch a couple times to get it into motion sensing mode and it seems to work really well too. It senses motion, we've got it set in a medium setting and it senses motion out maybe 30 feet from the RV. We also really like the blinking light on it because it, it makes it feel like the RV is active and can act as a deterrent to anybody wanting to mess with your RV. However, that blinking light is kind of bright and if you're in a tight situation where uh, you might have a neighbor really close to you, we've noticed that it will completely light their RV green, so we don't usually use it in those tight situations. If you want, you can get at that LED light and put a little cover over it to make it a little bit less bright, but we like having it bright because we think it adds that extra level of security when we're off-grid kind of in the middle of nowhere. Another issue we had with it is that once we screwed it down in the installation, the motion security portion of it that hangs off to the side kind of warped up a little bit and we had to add some caulk underneath it a little bit, uh, maybe about a quarter inch off the edge of the RV, so that was kind of uh, an inconvenience. I don't know if it was my RV or if it was just something that the light does once you get it snug down. I also thought that the installation and operating instructions were kind of vague and uh, not very helpful, but the, the, the operation is really straightforward and, and pretty easy, and as long as you ignore that yellow wire in the light, it's really easy to install it. 
The light fixture comes with a standard incandescent bulb in it, which isn't the most efficient, so I'd probably recommend installing an LED in it. You can take that lens portion off to get at the bulb pretty easily, so that's probably an upgrade that we'll be making in the near future. Starlights also makes a square style motion security light that you can put over the door or in other places where the round fixture isn't the right option for your RV. Overall we've been very happy to have it however and it gets left in the motion security mode pretty much day and night for us. We've even left it in when we're driving down the road because it's usually daytime and it's just blinking blue and doesn't come on until it senses motion and it's dark. Thanks so much for watching. This has been the Smart Light 2000. I'm Tom from Morton's on the Move. We'll see you next time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel for weekly uploads of our travel product reviews.